Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. Actually, I'm Mark. I come from Canada, but I teach English to adults in Rome. I have a small dog called Damas. We sometimes go jogging in a park near where I live. We love spending time outdoors in the summertime. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the present simple. So stay tuned. Right, I chose to talk about the present simple or the simple present. It's the same. Why? Because it's very, very important in English and you need to know it. So if you look at the timeline that I drew here, we have the past, the future, and the vertical line is now. We can find the present simple or the simple present everywhere. We need an auxiliary. What kind of auxiliary in this case? Do or does? Yes, the auxiliary is an indicator of what tense we're speaking of. So if you look at the first example or the first type of sentence is a negative. And in the negative, we need the auxiliary. So we have the subject first, then the auxiliary plus not, then the base of the verb, then the object, and maybe the time expression. I chose to start with the uh, verb to be, and you know that the verb to be acts by itself, so it doesn't need an auxiliary. So the example is, I'm not John, I'm Mark, you know that. So, I'm not John. I am not John. Now, an example without the verb to be would be he doesn't speak Hungarian. So, you can see does is the auxiliary plus not, doesn't, does not. We prefer to use the contractive form. Then the base of the verb, which is speak, and then the object, Hungarian. Now, for a question, WH question word. If you haven't seen my lesson on making questions, you can click here. So as I said, WH question word sometimes, then the auxiliary, do or does, then the subject, then the base of the verb, then the object sometimes, and then the time expression sometimes. I gave you two examples also showing the verb to be. So where do you live, for example? Where do you live? You can see where is the WH question word um, auxiliary do because it's not the third person singular. You would be do you, you do, so do you, and then leave the base of the verb. Or if you want to use the verb to be, who is he? So he would be the verb to be, doesn't need an auxiliary because it, it acts as itself as an auxiliary. Who is he? Now, if we look at the most important sentence here, because we have the third person singular, which changes, uh, let's start first with the, um, the easiest one. So, the subject, then the base of the verb, then the object, and then the time expression sometimes. This referring to I, you, we, and they only. So, the example, we like music. If we have an example with the verb to be, they are friendly. They are friendly. So, that's it. Now, if you look at the uh, third person singular, we have the subject, then the verb, the base of the verb, then we add s or es, depending on the verb you're using. Then the object, then the time expression sometimes, and I note it here is for the third person singular, he, she, or it. So, the example, he works, as he works at a bank. Or the other example, she studies, with es, she studies, moth. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you when to use this tense. So when do we use the present simple or the simple present? First, general present, including the present moment. For example, I teach English 
to adults in Rome. Then the second situation, when talking about feelings or thoughts at the present moment. So, we love spending time outdoors in the summertime. Here, the verb of feeling is love. Now, if you want to watch a lesson of verbs of feeling such as love, like, enjoy, hate, you can click here. Remember that we need the ING, love spending. Now, the third situation where we use the present simple or the simple present is when talking about general truths. For example, the sun rises in the east. This is always true and is a general truth, right? Now, the fourth, when talking about habitual or regular actions, we sometimes go jogging in the park. And what do I mean by habitual or regular actions? Well, you can see sometimes is an adverb of frequency and there is a lesson on this. You can click here if you want to watch it. That tells you that is a regular or habitual action. We sometimes go jogging in the park. Now, the fifth situation when discussing about what's happening in a book, a film, etc. This is used when you want to make the uh, story vivid. So, for example, at the end of the book, he looks up, he looks up and smiles at her to make the story vivid. Now, the sixth situation is when commentators are describing an event going on, they use the present simple. So, for example, in a football match or a soccer match. So, Totti takes the ball. He passes to Perotti and shoots. Now, let's recap. Right, in this video we talked about the present simple or the simple present. We use it with general truths. Don't forget to use the auxiliary do or does. Does is for the third person singular. I show you six situations where you can use the present simple. I recommend watching the lesson again. That's it for today, you people. Thank you very much for all your comments and your suggestions for new lessons. I have a question for you. Do you study English because you love it? Or do you study English because you need it? If you have subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you want to share the lesson, I would really appreciate it. And I see you next week with a new lesson. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.